welcome to Mind Your Business, a channel where we are in our everybody business. If you don't mind getting in people's business, you're on the right channel. Talking about current topics and gossip. So tell me how is so Gucci still trying to act like she is some victim in this whole situation? It's just absolutely mind-bogglingly ridiculous. Like, what's wrong with this woman? Well, I've got those people... My inclusive crew, and let's talk about Bell Collective, the reunion part three. So basically, we pick up on Letitia and Glenn, and basically, Glenn's, you know, talking about, you know, what's happened in the past, is in the past, essentially, and that, you know, he's doing a lot better and doing more, putting a, a more of an effort and realise that she's now, because obviously they got married when they were 20, he's saying, you know, she's not the same person anymore, you know, essentially, he's had to relearn her. And accept her for who she is now. And that they're getting married and all this stuff again. Well, getting married again, because they're already married. Um, to the new her is what he's basically saying. Uh, Marie is saying how, you know, he's doing better. So she's basically happy for the T-shirt. If she's happy for herself, essentially. And um, when Carlos is asking Cliff, is he happy for them? Why is he taking his time to answer the, the, the question? And then chatting back, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Glenn chipping in and saying that, you know, yeah, Cliff gives very good advice. And Cliff ch chatting back, yeah, look what I did. Like, he, he did anything over here to help put this together. Apparently his advice. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. Of course, Carlos covers the whole Cliff and Glenn bromance. I didn't even know they'd done a, a joint um, um, confessional. I was like, where was this? They didn't show this. That had me cracking up. I was like, look at these two just over here gushing about each other. <laughs> like, they really do like each other. And what the hell? What in the backside? What in the hell is he talking about that Cliff is giving this advice to Glenn about um, comparing Tisha, comparing the Tisha to Melody Holt in the situation there? What is he talking about? What the hell is he talking about? Because I'm like, what, you trying to say? he's trying to say... The T-shirt um, is, is like a, a Maisie Holt because Glenn cheated on her like Martel did. And now, you know, basically Martel made Melody and now she's gone off and left him. Missing out the whole point of, you know, where Martel cheated on her and had a whole baby on her. So I was very glad when Carlos, you know, checked him on that. Come just like, what kind of Lulu world is this man living in? Lord have mercy, this man is an idiot. What is he chatting? Chatting bare rubbish. Rubbish. Anyway, I just thought, good luck to you, Latrice, because this is this man you have to sit next to you is something else. This is the kind of nonsense he's telling people. Not Cliff lying his little backside off. That man is her backside liar. Rotted liar, my lie. Because he's up there chatting about, oh, he didn't say this, he didn't say that, um, when it came to calling Glenn, and Glenn's just co-signing it because, you know, that's his, that's, that's, that's his brethren. But I'd just like to stop the nonsense because we saw it on camera, okay? We saw you call the man and trying to make it worse and stirring up stuff and we also saw you quite clearly on camera like what jj said telling we saw you turn the t-shirt to pull the man's thing off so what are you talking about what are you talking about <laughs> and then you have the cheek the audacity to try and sit up there and chat about to um, jj that you're a liar telling him that he's a liar until they had to show it to you yeah show it give you the replay and the next minute it turned from he's a liar to yeah he was just joking it's just jokes when um, Aikisha, you know, asked how did Glenn feel about that because that's a whole a whole ridiculous situation. And I'm glad that Aikisha, got, even though she's been nosy, you know, um, but she, she, I'm glad she asked that question because I thought, yes, exactly, Glenn, how did you feel about that? And how is it Glenn that hasn't confronted his brethren, his friend, about this whole situation? Why not? It's just kind of now because they brought it up, but I'm just like, mm, that's very messy. But also, I also like the fact that JJ pointed out, because he was just cracking up, because I just feel like JJ, JJ just can't stand Cliff. <laughs> and you can see it, because he was like, well, why was she even in the room like, with the ladies and the stripper when all the men were in the other room playing pool? <laughs> now, I didn't realise that. <laughs> it's a good point that he pointed that out. Because I'm thinking, yeah, exactly. Why was she in there chatting about, yeah, pull his things off? And is it real? Like, he want to see the man's things. Like, what's your problem? Hmm? Anyway, Cliff did apologise. But I feel like he's just doing his apologies because he's on the show right now. He's doing his, his damage control. Now, we've touched on Aikisha and her, and her, you know, talking about her health battles and her family history of dealing with some health issues. Also, and how she manages social media and all that kind of stuff. And about Ferry Street Project, you know, and her saying that, you know, not everyone wants to be on camera and kind of juggling that and being kind of back and forth from Jersey to Mississippi. Now, she did make me laugh when Carlos asked, what was it like working with... Marie and Essie. <laughs> she was like, we mean working with Essie. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's what it looked like from, from the show. That's what I was saying in my commentary. It definitely was giving Marie is not doing her no no work. <laughs> and Carlos is asking, yeah, do you work, Marie? 
Marie's like, well, you know, I'm retired next year. So she basically dips in, dips out, and she can do what she wants to do. So I was like, okay, if you got that, that's a good, that's a good thing. That's a blessing. But please, why are you so bad vibes? You have it. You said that you've manifested everything you wanted. What's with the bad vibes? Can you be like, can you sort that out? That's ridiculous behavior. Well, how can you be bad vibes and you've got your stack of what? Like, what is this? I want his father. Like, seriously, why is she like this? She's just miserable. You've got everything you need. You just said you'd manifest everything. So please, fix up the man. Anyway, now, when you've got So Gucci talking about the fight with her and Selena, you know, obviously, um, Carlos establishing that, you know, Latrice and Tambra are closest to Selena and asking if um, Latrice and her husband and Selena are a thruple. And of course, she said no. Now, so Gucci is just ridiculous. She's saying that she feels like Latrice did it on purpose. She invited Selena on purpose because she's never seen her on the show before. But apparently now, because they had an issue, you know, which wasn't really an issue to me, you just didn't do your job. So it's simple as that. She feels like they um, have formed this alliance, which is just, I just think, whatever. Now, Latrice, Latrice is basically saying, well, as far as she's concerned, she didn't have no issue with her. Now, Carlos asks the right question, which is, why did you call Selena a extra in the damn first place? And she's trying to talk some nonsense, chatting about, yeah, well, she was trying to walk away and Selena was getting loud. She was basically making some foolish excuses, yeah, about Selena tried to walk away and she got loud. And then she said it. No, you didn't say it. It's as simple as that. It was rude. It was disrespectful. You didn't say that at all. It's, it sounds like a bunch of rubbish, a bunch of batty nonsense. Anyway, Lost Ox Tambra, so what did she feel like? Because she was standing in the middle of the whole nonsense and she thought that they were joking at first until she heard so good she called her an extra. And then she thought, OK, now this is serious, which makes sense because she'd never seen Selena um, behave like that ever. She'd never seen her act like that at all. So she saw her switch up. Now, I thought it was interesting that JJ actually agreed at that point with um, Tambra saying that, yeah, you know, he, he's never seen her like that either. So clearly you should know, understand then that obviously it's your wife is part of this problem because she created that energy. And then also, I'm so glad that, you know, they showed the scene, the deleted scene that we never got to see or the unseen scene, which was where Selena spoke about it on, on the podcast and said that, she called, She said to her, she's going to throw the drink at her. And then she kind of charged at her. So, of course, she's getting to defence mode thinking the woman's going to come and hit her because you're chatting about you're going to dash drink in somebody's face. And then you're, just like, you're taking off your glasses and coming towards the person like you're going to charge at them. No, you can't, really, you can't really do that. I just don't understand how she's not understanding that she is clearly part of the problem. Because I don't see the problem of you just greeting somebody and just being polite and not, and not causing an issue. Now... We find out also that we that see it would have been good to have Selena there on the show to speak for herself, but she couldn't be there because So Gucci blocked her from coming on the show, which I think was just bang out of order in the first place. Now, JJ, I don't understand. She, he, he's obviously in the middle of this nonsense, but he's, to me, is not handling it right, clearly, because this whole situation is causing a whole friction between the whole family, as they pointed out. He's trying to defend his wife in the way, saying that, you know, no violence, no violence. But actually, your wife is the one that sparked all the madness. So really, you should be talking to her and said, why did you do that? And why are you now pressing charges when you actually caused the whole situation? So I just think it's, it's, it's ridiculous. But he's basically saying that he didn't want to see no violence and no matter what, you know, nothing warranted a fight. And the Tisha, you know, pointed out, it's basically you saying that, you knew what you were doing when you were saying that, but she doesn't, she agrees, you know, it doesn't deserve someone getting hit, basically. But I feel like she, Selena should have been there and I'm annoyed that she wasn't um, able to be there because of so Gucci blocking her. That was just ridiculous. Anyway, you know, um, the daughters come on and it's just a whole hot madness because the daughters had me cracking up. Like Sanjay and Sky, they look gorgeous. Um, but they definitely came to avenge their mum <laughs> because they were not having it yet. There were at times I had to rewind because I was cracking up and I was missing certain bits because I was like, no. She just went straight for it. Sanjay was not... She was on smoke. She was just like, I'm, I'm, I'm here to tell you as it is. And it's, now I know I shouldn't be laughing because, but it was cracking me up. Because it was funny. But at the same time, it's people's real lives and it's a madness that's happening. And I feel like, you know, JJ is in the middle of this nonsense and he could sort it out because it's his wife that is keeping up the nonsense at this point. I just don't like it. And I feel, I feel bad for... Well, all parties involved, to be fair, because you've got the daughters who are clearly, they're upset. They're saying that they're close to their dad and that, you know, she's... They don't really think much of her. When they asked... When Carlos asked, you know, so what's the relationship like? She's like, yeah, I don't have a relationship with them, you know? And... um. What kind of she said, mother is she? Sanjay was quite honest and just said she didn't, she didn't really care for her much. <laughs> I said, Lord have mercy. Papa Jesus. <laughs> the girl was not easy. She went in. Uh, 
And of course, um, they said that they tried to make it work. You know, and I just, uh, I was I was busting up. I was busting up during the whole situation because I was like, wow, they just came straight with it, fire. Um, they came to clear her, basically. They said that, you know, they're close to their dad and they, they feel like she doesn't want them, them to be close to their dad. So that's where some of the issues is coming from. Um, so Gucci saying it's OK for them to feel that way because he asked, Carlos asked her, how does she feel? And she didn't really answer the question. She just said, oh, well, it's OK for them to feel that way, you know, and that, you know, everything she did is from her heart and that she loves them, and that this 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 too will, will pass. Then Carlos brought up the whole, well, you're pressing charges against, you know, Selena, which is like, duh, duh, you're pressing charges against their mum. So clearly you're cool causing a massive friction in the family. Like, where is the common sense? The common sense is just not there, and it common sense is not common. I know, definitely in her case. So the daughters are obviously saying that they, they, they don't, they're not happy about it, it? They feel like it's petty, which is true. She's being very petty, that she, that she disrespected them. Um, by disrespecting their mum, and that you know that she they feel like that she's taken it too far, and then that they're also annoyed with their dad because the, the dad's been talking rubbish about their mum, and that's their mum, and that's the the mother of his children and his ex wife. So he does need to be careful what he's saying, and he shouldn't be just saying it just just because he wants to you know deflect and defend so Gucci when really she exhibited poor behaviour, and while she might love the girls and whatever the case is, she has also got to think about the fact that her own daughter said on TV that she felt a bit neglected by her. Anyway, as well. So clearly there's something, there's, there's more to it. And it feels like there's a lot more deep-rooted stuff going on, you know, in between that whole mix-up. Because even when, going back a little bit, when Carlos mentioned it to Tambra about, you know, them two, and Tambra said that she, she's was close to Selena and spoke to her about it, so, you know, apologised for the whole situation, you know, happening and her being right there. She said that, Selena said that, you know, apparently it's because she feels like it was just a build-up of things over the years. So clearly there's more stuff to it, even though so good she's acting like there's nothing, and oh, well... There's no what what stuff over the years. What is it? What is it? It's just given very problematic, and it's given. It's mainly because of so Gucci because they made it clear that you know she seems to be quite a, a massive part of the issue. But Selena's moved on. She's got a, a fiance. I don't feel like she wants to get back with him. So I don't feel like what's the issue is my is my point. Like I don't get it. When they said about their mum and um, basically you know that their dad's been talking rubbish about their mum and that they don't like it. You know, they basically said, you know, we, we got to find out that basically they're not always being to their dad. So, of course, Carlos is like saying that's, that's really bad, you know, and that, that shouldn't be happening. It's really awful, essentially, that this is all happening. Anyway, it got a bit heated between um, JJ and his daughters when they kind of going back and forth. And then Carlos basically ended it and decided to move it on. And I thought, well, at that point is when the daughters were saying, well, look, you even blocked my mum from being here today. So what are you talking about? They're moving forward. Nothing's moving forward. Do you know what I mean? Like, so... So Gucci trying to act like she's innocent, it seems like, but nothing's all innocent. And I feel like it's it's a hard one because I feel like JJ is his daughters. Of course, he knows his daughters. He loves his daughters. Um, but clearly he loves his wife too. But they're his daughters. So I feel like he should definitely try and fix what's going on. I feel like so, so Gucci needs to drop this pressing charges foolishness. And particularly for the betterment of the family, like, what are you doing here? It's just a bunch of nonsense. So, yeah, that's what I think about that. Then after that, essentially, they show JJ backstage talking to his girls and basically still standing down on the whole, you know, no one's agreeing situation because clearly so Gucci's in one ear, you know, at home saying to him that if, well, she's shaking budget on it and where she, because the way she was saying on the stage, oh, well, look, it was this close, it was that close. I understand it could have been a really bad situation, but it wasn't. So therefore, why press the charges? If it was a bad situation, I would understand you doing that. But like, seriously, I feel like she's just taking it way too far. Anyway, they wrap it up at the end of that. Now, you know, social media is always on fire when these shows are on. So, of course, I had to go and have a look over there and see what some people were saying about the show. And one of them is from Selena herself, where she actually does say that, baby, if anybody makes a threatening statement and then charges at me, I'm going to defend myself. And I don't care who you are. <laughs> Hashtag a bill collective. <laughs> I said, well, fair enough. Fair enough. That's my recap, guys. What did you think of the show? Do you feel like um, So Gucci? Do you feel bad for So Gucci in the situation? Because clearly, you know, her husband loves his daughters, and this is a whole big madness. Um, do you feel bad for JJ, or do you think that they are to the blame? What do you think about the daughters? Do you think they should have had more time to express their point? Because I think they should have had a bit more time. Um, Carlos cut that quite quickly um, um, because I feel like Carlos is quite close to the cast. Obviously, he doesn't want it to be you know too negative which I get but I feel like 
they didn't get to get as much as they needed to get out. But uh, the, the amount that they get out was quite a lot to clear, everybody. <laughs> anyway, what do you think of the, the reunion, my people, then? What do you think? Let me know your thoughts below. Yes, so thanks for watching that. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, and hit that notification bell so you know when I am uploading some more of people's business. So until then, my nosy people, stay blessed.